Why are you closing the door, Shakedown? Hey everybody, it's Dick here. I am not posting a pre-recorded, pre-edited video today because I am in the middle of a folly. A, what do we call it? I'm sorry? <laughs> do we call this an adventure? Or a folly? Or a tour. A tour. I'm on a tour of Scotland, the Lake District, and maybe Wales tomorrow? We'll see. We got as far as the eye of sky in some frost and snow and through the highlands. Everyone told us we were mad, and we probably were, when we were skidding across the ice and scraping frost off of our bikes before we started them up in the morning. But we are currently on a tour. We've done about, oh, I meant to tell you this, we've done uh, 1,600 miles so far in the three and a half days that we've been riding. Three and a half, one, two, three, four, four. Four days. It's catching up to us. Heated gear was a must or is a must. We have first degree burns on our hands and across our chest from our heated gear burning so hot, but it was a godsend. We are in Windermere tonight in the Lake District. We went through the, remind me, shake down. Uh, remind Buttermere. me. The what? We were in Buttermere. Yeah, but the pass. Honister? We came through Buttermere to Windermere on the Honister Pass, which is, we were sad to leave the Highlands, we were sad to leave Scotland, but we weren't making the miles that we needed to get back to, um, excuse me, back to London to get shaked down on a plane on Sunday, so we had to turn around, we came back to Lake District because we only saw a little bit of it on the way up, and now we are so happy we did because the Lake District is as magical as the highlands were, and we're so happy to find these little um, side hedgerow trails, these single track roads. A England has amazing riding, don't bypass it to get up to Scotland, hit it on the way up. We, <laughs> we, we were aiming towards Windermere, we saw a sign that said, what we saw, I saw a sign that said, Cockermouth. <laughs> so we said, let's go to Cockermouth. <laughs> <laughs> Being 13-year-old boys and not having lunch yet, we figured we put a cock in our mouths. So we went to Cockermouth, and it was, town. it was a beautiful town. I mean, we were surprised that over on the West Coast in the Lake District, there was this proper 19th century town, and it was uh, established. And we found out that the money that came was from the um, the lambs, from cotton supporting the textile textiles down in uh, Manchester and Liverpool way. So we had a bit of lunch there, and then we found this uh, little road that was more interesting. When an old lady said, oh, you, you don't want to go down the A66. Here's a more interesting road down this way. Look for signs for this village. We went down that road. We found, followed the signs to the village. We saw, yeah, we saw a little hedgerow, and uh, I said, let's go that road. Looks more interesting. We went down that road. And then we got caught behind Lake District Rush Hour, which was uh, a shepherd shepherding about 75 sheep down the road. And then we didn't want to scare the sheep. We didn't want to get too uh, involved with uh, spooking the sheep and upsetting the shepherd. So we took a left down another little hedgerow lane, ended up seeing a sign that said um, Keswick eight miles to the left or 12 and a half miles via the Hossing. What is it? Honister Pass, 12 and a half miles to the Honister Pass. And I'll tell you, man, I, there were no words. Shakedown was in my ear because we had, yeah, it was first gear, 25% grades up and down. First gear, sitting on our balls on the tanks on the way down, <laughs> sitting on the bags on the way up. It was amazing. All of this is on video. We had some drastic audio issues uh one of our mics failed on our intercom so i just have shakedown talking in my ear the whole time and me nodding and giving hand signs and you know all this stuff and uh and we're just kind of muscling our way through the audio on the cameras messed up cameras are broken so but we're managing to get some footage for you guys to watch when we get back and actually get some editing done but it's a um november in the north it's it's a risk, but it's so worth it. We recommend it. I recommend it. I'm coming again next year. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put a tour out and we'll get some people 
some viewers to come along because it is it is risky, but it is worth it. So we're gonna go, we're in Windermere again today. We're gonna go up to the Crafty Bar, which is, uh, what does it have, 99 or 400? 400, 400, yeah. There's 99 bottles of different types of beer on the wall and you can pick that up. They had live blues music the last time we were there and all types of melted cheese. So the, my, uh, my lamenting about grilled cheese sandwiches in England is, uh, has been, there's salvation because the people up here in Windermere make a damn fine grilled cheese sandwich. So it's worth the ride. What else do we want to say? Do you want to say anything else before we oh, sign so up? so much more content to come. I mean, we have, Hundreds of hours. We have, uh, I, I did a dump of our cards yesterday because we ran out of room on all of our memory cards and we have 192 gigs of footage of our ride so far and it is lots of content. Lots of content. Some, some <laughs> has weird aspect ratios, <laughs> some have uh, really crazy voiceovers, some have no audio whatsoever, but you can just enjoy the majesty and maybe I'll do a voiceover with it, but there is probably a year's worth of content coming out of this one tour <laughs> if I only post once a week. But it's a uh, it's a journey worth taking, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna be cheeky, and tomorrow we're gonna dip down into Snowdonia. So Shakedown's from the United States; he's a very old friend of mine, and we're going to see if we can get uh, into Wales, and I'll give him I'll get him into three of the four nations of the United Kingdom while it still lasts and see, uh, show them a bit of, uh, Snowdonia. The, um, the, the, uh, I just got someone commenting, uh, sending me a private message saying, what the hell am I doing live? But I, if you saw the beginning, if you tuned in live, you'll know that I'm live because I don't have a pre-edited video right now. And... Uh, I'm out on a tour in the middle of November or the end of November now, but the uh, what's funny is we we went we saw Ben Nevis we went through Fort William we passed by Ben Nevis on the way through the Highlands, and then coming down today I saw signs for Scafell, I think I'm going to bring Shakedown over to Snowdonia I'll show him Snowden and there we go Three Peaks Challenge on bikes, and then we'll see uh, about getting him to his plane on time on Sunday. So I hope uh, you guys stay tuned for these videos. I'm looking forward to editing them and getting some edited content back on. But I did not want to leave you guys hanging. Oh, I just see a bad bug says hello from Cumbria. Hey, man, how are you? I think we're in your, we were in your neck of the woods earlier. Or maybe we still are. I'm not, I don't mean to be offend. I don't mean to offend, but I don't know what, what the boundaries of Cumbria are. But uh, Cockermouth, ah, Cockermouth's in Cumbria. It said, uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, Cockermouth has Cockermouth. a little... Can't say it enough. <laughs> I can't say it. Cockermouth has a uh, little card shop in it, and it said, um, I'm posh, I'm from Cockermouth. Or what's the mug say? It says, uh, uh, you can take the gal out of Cockermouth, but you can't take the Cockermouth out of the gal. <laughs> so, hello from vi any viewers from Cumbria. Uh, I think I'm going to sign off. We have anything else to say? Nope. All right, we got to go uh, try some of the 99 beers. What was the beer you had on the way through, on the way up the first time? Uh, they just called it number 42. Right? Number 42. Six, what is it? 40? What was it? 67% alcohol. 67% alcohol. alcohol by volume. They give you 25 milliliters for seven quid. And it's... Uh, it entertained some gals from Manchester that were sitting next to Shakedown while he was drinking it. They thought he was going to start blowing fire out of it because <laughs> he took, what did they say? Get it down your Keiko! Your Keiko! Keiko. Your Keiko! And then uh, he downed it um, maybe foolhardily. But this whole trip is foolhardy, foolhardily. That's the entire northwest of England, Cumbria. Struggling to cope with the satellite delay from the Lake District. Have fun, guys. <laughs> Anyway, apparently the whole part of the north is Cumbria, so I've insulted all of you. Anyway, beautiful country. I'm going to spend some more time here and come back, but I'm signing off. Dee, 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 d